we, we so we had these API entrepreneurs like Jeff Flosson and and, and Julien Lemoine. Uh, we have these companies that that was uh, scaling so fast that at some point they had to uh, use APIs, integrate from others, and everything. And so now I wanted to share with you with Tanya uh, uh, from eBay to talk about the API first mindset, uh, yeah. right? So if we Tanya, you can come. Yeah, hello Tanya, how are you? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you. I'm doing very well. I'm really excited to be here with you all today, even if it is only virtually. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll meet in person next year. Yeah, we hope to, and you will be invited. But so now um, to, to continue the story, let's talk about this API first uh, mentality and mindset. So if you can share your slide with us, uh, the stage is yours for 20 minutes plus five minute questions. Thank you. Um, my name is Tanya Vlahovic. I lead the developer ecosystem organization at eBay, which is eBay's uh, developers program. In addition, I am the chair of uh, the public API governance body uh, at eBay, and I, care, I take care of the overall API decomposition and namespace uh, definition. I am an active contributor to um, eBay's technical standards and patterns. Uh, that are primarily relevant to public APIs, but also to uh, internal services. And to make it simple, um, I am involved in anything related to eBay's developers program, uh, public APIs, and large partner integrations. APIs are everywhere nowadays. They connect businesses, people, and things. They are literally the foundation on which uh, modern businesses are built and an essential part of growing a successful business. All forward-looking organizations speak API to inspire innovation and to amplify reach. We definitely live in a digital age, in a connected digital age. COVID-19 and the global pandemic intensified that even further. So um, many aspects of life turn digital. This is how we work, learn, entertain, and of course shop. So uh, digital is uh, the primary channel and organizations go with the APification to interact with their customers. In our time today together, uh, there are three areas that I would like to share with you. API is a product details around the API design, and finally, the importance of the feedback loop when working on the APIs. So let's get started with uh, the API as a product. APIs are required for building and connecting applications. But nowadays, they are more than just a software talking to another software. APIs are the first class products that democratize access to capabilities that organizations offer. They are the basis of the new business to developer or B2D uh, model. At eBay, APIs are built by developers for developers. We treat them as first class products, which means that we design them, we implement them and maintain them in such a way to give their customers uh, developers a good experience. API first strategy is not only about the APIs. It's about the use cases, capabilities, and actors who benefit from new features from new APIs. The API first is beyond just the engineering concepts. It is the strategy that business st stakeholders should also support. And that is very important. Uh, partners are looking for capabilities. So we are talking about launching a product rather than just releasing an API. And it is essential to zoom out and see the bigger picture. So it is essential to understand the customer problem and design around that and not to expose internal implementation details um, in your interface. It is important not to ship the org charts. At the same time, that is very challenging. When designing APIs, many start from the bottom up, from the database, without considering uh, consumers, uh, abstracting concepts, 
uh, and hiding the underlying complexities. Uh, the database is not your API contract. APIs define what consumers can do with the data. And in the end, it's all about connecting users and data. Uh, taking the complex and making it simple is the approach everyone involved in the API design should follow. So first, understand the problem statement and capture the use cases by specifying actors, uh, concepts, actions, and constraints. Thinking of the capabilities upfront is for sure a prerequisite for ensuring that the business and technology strategy are aligned. Again, many organizations start from the bottom up and design around internal implementation details without considering consumers. The database is not an API contract. Uh, API owners often optimize uh, for their engineers and ignore third party developers by using uh, internal vocabulary or uh, trying to save on the number of uh, methods uh, and endpoints, uh, pushing data interpretation to consumers, etc. Instead, the API design should be developer centric and focused on taking the complex and making it simple. The starting point is the API blueprint that uh, represents detailed API design. At least that's what we do at eBay. So our API blueprint describes the model and capabilities. It's an input into the implementation and typically has room for future extensions. Business keeps evolving and growing. The APIs will change. And at eBay, we refer to this uh, process as uh, the interface design uh, method. Our IDM process starts with capturing use cases um, by specifying actors, concepts, actions, as well as constraints, and then deriving entity relationship, uh, which I have in this slide. Uh, further, uh, nouns are identified from uh, the entities and verbs from the actions. In the RESTful world, uh, the nouns become resources and the verbs become HTTP methods. At eBay, we also use the color coding. Uh, the green boxes uh, in this diagram are part of the uh, upcoming release. The pink boxes are the placeholders for the future extensions. Again, we know that the business keep growing and that the APIs will change. So design your APIs for change. And then the uh, yellow or orange boxes represent uh, references to the resources and the entities that live in a different API namespace. The final phase of the IDM process is to determine resource representations and to specify um, authorization details. Um, here is my example. Uh, this is for a return policy. This is one of the policies that sellers need to define uh, when managing their eBay business at scale and managing their listings. And uh, the authorization granularity depends on uh, the use case. Sometimes we have more granular authorization. Sometimes we have less granular authorizations. And input to that is, again, uh, the set of product requirements, legal requirements, compliance requirements, and so on. APIs are powerful when used together. Uh, so during the design phase, it is crucial to ensure that the API uh, fits into the portfolio. The portfolio dimension really matters. Uh, so the starting point is to do the namespace definition, basically to define the API taxonomy and then to keep adding the API capabilities that fit into this uh, API taxonomy. Uh, standards and patterns uh, define what is constant uh, across the APIs. Also, uh, words matter, and, and so vocabulary consistency is equally important. Uh, an endpoint is like a sentence uh, where uh, resources are nouns and HTTP methods are uh, words. Uh, each um, endpoint conveys the purpose and intent. And of course, the API should do uh, what it says it does. 
uh, all of the, the APIs must be uh, good citizens to avoid confusion and developer inefficiency. When I say all, I mean all APIs that are part of the API portfolio. A proper governance process ensures that consistency. Uh, it's all about making the right choices for the developer's program and for uh, the organization. So it is essential to perceive that governance process as an enabler rather than uh, a gate. And that is also a challenge. The focus of the governance is on um, the what part versus the how part. It is not sufficient to have a vision only. Uh, the governance should be a reality to ensure the quality of the uh, API portfolio. Uh, such a process should be uh, objective, transparent, and manageable. It ensures the overall API readiness, including the design, uh, the overall consistency, cross-cutting concerns, for example, are the configuration of the rate uh, limiter, then operational aspects like um, API analytics. Uh, it addresses uh, the data privacy concerns, um, um, and then um, availability for testing. This is typically in a sandbox-like environment. Uh, then uh, documentation, then making sure that uh, developer technical support is trained to support the new APIs and the new API capabilities. Uh, agreeing on what needs to be done may be tough, especially at the beginning of establishing such a governance process. Uh, and then making sure that um, engineers and the engineering teams are following, uh, this is not fun at all. So it's all about finding a balance. Um, define and enforce your standards, but be flexible on the how part. And this process should be applicable to all of the APIs uh, you know, that contribute to the portfolio, regardless of the uh, organizational structure uh, and the teams, and also regardless of the underlying technology. I mean, the same standards should apply to the APIs that are implemented in Java, Scala, Node.js, and, uh, and and on any other stack. Um, the uh, Open API initiative is one of my um, favorite topics. Uh, the initiative aims to standardize describing APIs, basically API contracts. And uh, nowadays, the Open API specification is pretty much a standard uh, way to describe what your APIs uh, do. Um, there is a large community behind the spec and plenty of mature tools. Uh, one of them is Swagger that generates clients in more than 40 technology stacks. It is much easier and faster for developers uh, to integrate with the APIs when starting from the open API documents. A couple of years ago, um, my boss challenged me to integrate with one of our APIs in, in less than 90 seconds. So I uh, started from the open API uh, document. Uh, I used Swagger to generate a client, and then I made it. It was, it was so exciting. Um, in today's complex systems, an event-driven architecture is gaining traction. Uh, RESTful APIs are poll-based concepts. And uh, on the other hand, subscribing to receiving notifications about business moments is equally important. Uh, similar to how uh, the Open API initiative aims to standardize describing request response APIs, the Async API initiative uh, aims to standardize describing asynchronous or event-driven APIs. Uh, this spec abstracts protocols and supports uh, wireless formats, um, brokers, channels, uh, and um, uh, it covers both uh, publisher and subscriber's perspectives. Uh, the async API spec is also both human readable and machine readable. Uh, it is compatible with the open API specification, which is great. It's extensible and reusable. It supports external references. And um, similar to the uh, uh, open API spec, uh, the fact that this is a machine readable um, spec um, actually allows uh, the code generation. There are already tools that generate code based on the async API documents. Uh, there are also 
uh, the Async API visualizers, which help uh, engineers to understand the Async API contracts. Um, um, so uh, a good example is the uh, Async API playground. And um, in general, um, feedback uh, from customers helps to shape strategies and roadmaps. Uh, in this case, uh, customers are, uh, you know, uh, developers. And um, it is an extremely important uh, part of uh, the uh, API uh, first strategy. Uh, the APIs are for developers. So delivering what, what works for them uh, is crucial. Besides, the API providers optimize on the uh, engineering effort when listening to feedback. And there are two uh, types of uh, feedback uh, here, I mean, direct and indirect. Instead of uh, jumping on the implementation, uh, the design first method allows engineers to keep changing the interface while iterating with uh, the consumers, with customers. Uh, on the other hand, uh, this helps build a relationship with developers. You deliver what they ask for. A good practice is to proceed with a beta or even uh, private beta releases. Uh, focus on your trusted uh, developers to gather feedback and do that as often and as early as possible. Uh, that is definitely what we follow uh, at eBay. So uh, sometimes it takes time to, um, you know, um, iterate, but still uh, in the long run, uh, it is faster uh, than following this approach uh, to refine the APIs. Measure twice, cut once. And in some part of the world, they even say measure seven times, cut once. Uh, in the long run, it is more efficient to deliver uh, the API that will stay instead of redoing it six months later. And your business stakeholders should also understand that. Uh, indirect feedback is um, equally important. Um, APIs are products and they contribute to business objectives. Analyzing the API's usage and measuring the API's outcomes and performance is a must. Uh, this is one of the uh, main drivers to enhancing uh, the APIs uh, over time. In this process, some of uh, the APIs just flourish while some others disappear. We deprecate and decommission them. And that's how it should be. Uh, thriving API ecosystems are flexible uh, and adaptable. Developers shape your products, but to understand which way to go, it is a must to look into data and use the analytics to improve the overall API portfolio maturity iteratively. An API for a strategy for sure uh, enables agile business, adds a lot of flexibility and is a prerequisite for getting great digital. Uh, still, good architecture cannot fix the broken culture. Uh, treat your APIs as products and um, uh, maintain them. Uh, keep iterating and improving your offerings. Define standards and emphasize the governance, but be flexible on the how part to give teams some creative freedom. Flexibility and joy are key um, to people feeling safe to uh, focus on customers, uh, take risks and innovate. And that's for sure what we follow uh, for our developers program. That's uh, all I had for today. Uh, thank you all. I hope we have some time for uh, questions now. Yeah, we have uh, two minutes for, for questions. So we have a first question about how to impulse this API mindset mentality to business people, not only to technical people. Yeah, that is a challenge. That is what I mentioned, right? So it's not just, you know, only to convince the technical people, yeah. this is also to convince the business people and just, you know, show them the numbers. So that works very well. Just, you know, do a very good, you know, projection partner with your trusted developers and try to come up with the numbers and just, you know, to, to, to emphasize that, you know, uh, sometimes initially it takes time to iterate, but uh, in the long run, that's 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 uh, that's the winning. Uh, I mean, that's that's how it should work. Yeah. Do you make specific workshops involving technical people and business people in the same room about APIs? 
Sometimes we do, but we typically have workshops with uh, the third party developers, with the trusted third party developers, and then we take the input from such workshops and then share with uh, our business people. But sometimes they are involved from, from the day one. And uh, so uh, since when we have API product managers at eBay? <laughs> If you don't, if you know. We do have API product managers, yes. Yeah, so but since, they, since when? Since you know, when? Um, I actually one. don't know. So I have been working uh, <laughs> uh, in, in this you know, organization, in the developers program for the last six years, and we had them over the last six years. But you know, eBay launched developers program back in 2000, so I have no idea what happened yeah. back then. I guess we used to have you know, product managers work very closely with engineers and very closely with architects. So we really emphasize on the architecture a lot uh, at eBay. So we have uh, architects who uh, pay attention to the APIs and take care of all this you know, consistency that, that I mentioned. Yeah, uh, thank you. And we are at, it's perfectly at the time. Thank you very much, Tanya. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Again, we're glad to have you at APLS conferences and to share what you've done, uh, the API first mentality uh, that you're building at eBay in the developer ecosystem. Thank you. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Have a good one. Bye.